Dominican Friars in Rwanda. Meditation on First Wednesday in Ordinary Time. He cured many who were sick with various diseases. Dear brothers and sisters, praise be to Jesus forever. On this first Wednesday in Ordinary Time, Liturgical Year B, we see Jesus gradually leaving Capernaum to meet various people and proclaim that the good news is for all. He left the synagogue, entered the house of Peter's mother-in-law, left it in the morning, and went off to a deserted place for prayer. He also left Capernaum and went on to the nearby villages. In all these places of life, Jesus proclaimed the good news. He spoke to people, reached out his hand to them, and touched them, and prayed for them. In other words, Jesus healed the suffering with his word, his touch, and his prayer. These movements of Jesus from one place to another teach us that God is not enclosed within four walls. The whole world, with all its spaces of life and encounter, is the destination of its good news. Brothers and sisters, Jesus comes among us today to heal us by his word, by his touch, and by his prayer. He extends his helping hand and waits for us to reach out to him. We can extend our hand to him by listening to his word of life, by reading the Bible ourselves, following a teaching, paying attention to a word of wisdom spoken by someone, etc. It is a word that heals and edifies us. We can reach out to Jesus through sincere gestures, such as welcoming the poor and suffering who come to us and going out of our four walls to visit the needy, etc. All these suffering people are a hand that Jesus extends to us. He is waiting for us there. Finally, we can reach out to Jesus through prayer, imitating his way of praying. In prayer, we can obtain healing for our souls and wounded bodies, and also healing for others. If we cannot travel to meet the sick or the poor, let us pray intensely for them and ask God to give them the help they need. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you still come today to travel through our environments of life to bring your peace and joy. Give us an open and sincere heart so that we may present to you all our diseases, those of our brothers and sisters, and our dark places that need your light. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.